So guys, we are here um, on day two of this project. Today we're gonna start my fairy garden, which is on the side of my porch. Uh, let me give you a quick peek here. So it is down here is where my fairy garden will be. I'm gonna try to map up what I kind of want in this area. I have this tote full of my fairy garden stuff. I have some projects over here going. I'm making a ladder. This is the little doors that I got, but this one I painted. I'm gonna probably end up painting that one. These are little bridges that I got and I painted it. Um, so there's some projects going on here. This basket's full of fairy garden things. And then I have a bag over here. So uh, last night I wrapped up day one by painting my swing black and by painting my mailbox black. I do have to get red paint for the flag though. Um, the flowers that I put here, my mom, my mother-in-law said that, um, they need shade to grow. And this is an area where it's shady in the morning till about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. Um, and then like right now it's 10 o'clock and you could see that it's starting to get some sun. So I don't think that they're going to grow. So, uh, I might have to rethink that plan. We also wrapped up day um, one by using a Cummins to pull these two trees together. And eventually they'll start growing together if we keep doing that. So we did that also. So today is the fairy garden day. So this is what it looks like right now. We got all of day one yesterday. We got all of the topsoil in, which is great. I'm gonna have my phone there and listen to some podcasts or music. My bucket, because I wanna clean out some of the rock, a drink, and gloves. So let's get started. All right, so I cleared out the rock. I put rocks on both sides here, lining it. Um, so, kinda looks like mountains and a little valley and a little town. Um, so, yeah, I think that like up here, like right there is gonna be like um, like the drive into the town. So a tip on how to build a fairy garden of this size, like not just in your pots or whatever, but like a big landscape here is to pick like a major, uh, focal point. So mine is going to be a river or crick. Um, so I'm going to start making the crick part. And mapping out that and then I'll just work everything else around it okay so you can see right here I started a ditch I'm gonna line it with aluminum foil and then we're going to put the glass gemstones in so we're gonna do that now okay so this is my little crick or my little um, river that runs through there It's turned out very good. This is like the watering hole. So, like, kind of like where they swim and stuff. So fun to be creative and just imagine things. So I'm gonna make these little arches for my fairy garden, um, for like the archway into my creek or my river. So I got these miniature right. garden arches for a dollar a dollar general they look like this they're like little metal arches and then i got a bag from dollar general of assorted seashells for like two dollars so like this whole craft was three bucks i'm gonna use some um what is this called hot glue and i'm gonna glue these seashells on here so That's this so this is what it looks like with all the shells hot glued. And we're gonna go put this in the fairy garden. All right, so the crick, which is the main focal point, is done. In the last clip, I showed you how to make the entry ways, like where the river comes out. That's what that looks like. 
then you follow the river down there's like these little flower bridges and then this is the swimming hole so we have like a little guy little gnome taking the slide into the pool and then there is another bridge there's that little hedgehog on a leaf another bridge another hedgehog another bridge another bridge and then that's where the river goes back under the porch so yeah that looks so cute all right so now i'm making the entrance point into my fairy garden town so i just lined with big rocks i got a little tiny american flag there's my fairy garden plaque and then there is the archway i just bought one of those archways for a dollar at dollar general and then the flowers are a dollar a bushel um, from dollar tree so that was literally two dollars to make and i just hot glued everything together and then it starts in to the town so cute and then you have a blank canvas so you just be as creative as you want and to make these little walkways here I get the big bags of white decorative stone from Dollar Tree for a dollar so that's how I make my little walkways to the bridge so let's get creative I bought I brought out all my <laughs> bags and tins of all my fairy stuff so should be interesting so we're going to turn this into a fire pit by adding some rocks around here and some twigs. I'm not sure if I showed you how I've been making the fairy gnome garden ladders, but these are like old, um, like long things from a flower of mine, like the stem part that hardens. So I, I collected these last year before fall. Um, there's like a whole bunch, see? And um, I cut them and then I've been cutting them to make like the little rungs in the ladder and it's working so good. I've just been using some glue and that's how I'm going to be making my ladders. So I just got done with day two of the out front landscaping. Um, I've been out since 10 o'clock working, 10 a.m. It's now 9, almost 9. I'm beat. But it's all completed and uh, if you want to see the fairy garden you'll have to stick around till tomorrow why tomorrow? to see it why tomorrow that way they come back mm. maybe subscribe hit the subscribe button I'll give you a little uh, sneak peek okay just a little tiny one. Oh, oh, oh! that's it okay huh. um, so yeah come back tomorrow and see the fairy garden Bye guys.